hey guys and welcome back to my channel so i'm back with another dip one of my favorite dips yes even over the crab dip you have your traditional spinach dip guys this is absolutely delicious i love it you guys are gonna love it so let's hop right into the video so first i am using fresh fresh spinach but you don't have to you can use frozen whatever you like i'm gonna use fresh and because i'm using fresh i'm going to blanch my spinach so i'm gonna cook this spinach for about three to four minutes until it turns like a, a dark green color and it gets you know it melts down you know spinach just like greens it melts right on down um and also i'm using two bags of spinach guys um I know you're going to think this is a lot, but y'all know spinach melts down. So once it looks like this, I am going to drain it, rinse it in cold water. And then I also like to chop my spinach up. This is actually optional, but I don't like the big, big chunks of spinach. I like mine to be like, you know, little pieces. So y'all know I love our portions, little pieces. So when you eat it, it's just like a little spinach, little artichoke boom y'all get what i'm saying so once it's nicely chopped we can then start on our roux also during this process i just had a can of artichokes and i just chopped them up three artichoke hearts chop them up set them to the side until we're ready to use them so now we're gonna get started on our sauce so i'm starting with three tablespoons of butter once that melts on down, we're going to add in a tablespoon of flour. Yes, guys, we are making a roux. So um, once you add in your flour, you just want to make sure the butter is incorporated with the flour. And you want to get that flour taste out. So let it cook for about, I let mine cook for about three to four minutes. Um, you don't want to brown it. You just want to get that flour taste out. And then guess what I'm going to put in there next, you guys? No, some milk. Uh, in total, I put a cup and a half of milk in and i just pour in a little at a time until i got it to the consistency i wanted and in total i ended up putting a cup and a half of milk in but once you put a little bit in stir it around and then once everything's incorporated add some more milk in stir it around and then add some more milk in and stir it around so once we get it to a good consistency we are then going to add in our cream cheese um, I forgot to tell you guys, I had my stove on a level four at this point. We are going to cut it down later, but right now I had my stove in between like a level three and a level four, so a three and a half. Um, and once we add our cream cheese, guys, don't be afraid because your sauce will start to like clunk up, but it is okay. You're going to keep stirring it around and it's all going to melt and it's going to be nice and smooth, guys. Trust me, it's going to be delicious. But um, I just added in a big like you saw my spoon just i took my spoon and just went in with the cream cheese and so it was a big spoon full of cream cheese so i'm going to guesstimate and say that's like a, a one fourth cup but if you want to be accurate take your big spoon and just get a big spoon of it and then mix it around and you see how it's starting to melt and this is when i added in some more milk um until i reach up a cup and a half of milk that's all you need is a cup and a half mix that all around and um then once everything is pretty much melted down you want to add in your seasonings um i'm adding in a teaspoon of minced garlic you can use fresh garlic if you want to and then about a teaspoon of garlic powder and then pepper and salt to taste guys i'm always going to say that i'm always going to say salt and pepper to taste because everybody different so you know some people don't like salt so um do that to taste mix that around and once that's incorporated and you see how it's nice and thick and everything's starting to melt down we are then going to actually cut our stove down to i had it on a level one and i'm going to take a handful of whatever type of cheese you like but i am going to be using mozzarella cheese and i'm going to take a handful of mozzarella cheese and i'm going to place that in my mixture and and then i'm going to um let that get all nice and melted and remember guys it's very important you cut your stove down because you do not want your cheese to burn so i'm gonna mix that around and it is going to become nice i mean the, the consistency is going to be beautiful and this is the point where you want to um taste it to see if you need to add some more seasons you might need to add some more um garlic powder or salt and pepper guys you can also put more seasonings in it if you want to these are just the seasonings that i use y'all came to my channel to watch what i'm doing so i'm telling you what i'm doing because y'all be in the comments having a lot to say um but at this point i added in 
um, half of the spinach and then I mixed it all around so it can get, cause you know, the spinach is, oh, I forgot to tell y'all, make sure you bring out your spinach. Like no water, guys, make sure it is fully drained because we do not want the spinach to the water in the spinach and that's, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. So make sure you guys make sure your spinach is nice and dry and mix that all around in there. And then we can add some artichokes and then you can add the rest of your spinach. I just like to do mine in portions, um, but you can add it all in at once. Um, but put your artichokes in there, add some more spinach, mix that around, let it cook. I let mine cook for at least about two to three minutes so it can get nice absorbed and y'all gonna see how it look and then we're gonna be ready to place it into our preheated 400 degree oven So now at this point, it looks delicious and we are going to then place it into whatever casserole, whatever dish you want to. Y'all know I place my dips in my um, my miniature skillet that I got from Home Goods. So I'm going to place it in there and then we're going to put this in the oven for seven minutes. On the last minute, you want to place it on broil and that's just to get the cheese nice and um, brown. And I'm using Monterey Jack cheese and a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top of it. Place that in your oven. And when it comes out, baby, thing gonna be glistening. Dang almost look better than a crab dip. Y'all knew I was gonna do a Zoom for y'all. And I still had some uh, French, um, how y'all say that word? French baguette, ba baguettes um, left from the crab dip. So I just used that. But I like to use um, tortilla chips on the side. But y'all already know, I'm gonna do show y'all the inside of this dip because it wouldn't be fair if I didn't. And y'all should have heard me, I was going off. I took a bite and was like, okay, I'm going to do one more bite. And then I went in again, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to do one more bite. Next thing you know, y'all, I done ate half the, half the spinach dip my, myself. Half the spinach dip myself, guys. I just can't. I ain't going to have no type of summer body next year in 2021. Um, so this this get dip, y'all, I swear, is, is, it is absolutely delicious. You guys got to try it. Now you guys got to pair at your football parties. You got a yin to your yang. You got your crab dip and you got a spinach dip guys but be sure to like comment and subscribe and i hope you guys are continuing to wash your hands and i will see you guys at my next video